click case, cassette case. Unbreakable, it says. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Computer Lab Hijinks, the show about games, old software, and web ephemera. And today we are looking at this undisclosed location, which is the warehouse of a local junk removal service. So people's trinkets when they die or are slowly losing their marbles and their kids need to throw away their treasures. This is where it all goes. And so we're going to go in there and look at some of the trinkets and yeah, see how we feel. We're on the hunt for retro gaming, as always. Games, old software, web ephemera. We're going to sift through people's actual garbage and uh, see what we find. So long story short, I had to swing by this garbage removal place to pick up some rugs that had been accidentally collected when I got my apartment cleaned. And while I was there, I spotted this downright sexy CRT television with a built-in VCR. And since this is a retro gaming channel, I had to buy it. Then I spent a few hours sifting through all the strange trinkets and old media that I saw, because this place was quite literally overflowing with weird things. Kind of like a thrift store, but in someone's barn. Would I find some old games? Would I finally get my hands on that sealed copy of Quest 64? Not quite, but I found some of the most bizarre artifacts I've ever laid eyes upon, so here's how it all went. Uh, here we have uh, some sort of stereoscope, which is a very old-timey contraption. Uh, Long-time fans will know we've covered stereoscopy in the past, so I don't, I don't know if anyone has photos that could fit into this, but that is cool. 1986 Greensville Minor Baseball Tournament consolation participant so that is a participation trophy from 40 years ago quite an achievement to still have this that is certainly i would give them a trophy for holding on to things all right godfather trilogy possibly on laser disc yep there's the laser disc logo i've never seen one in person but that is so cool look at that it's like a giant cd i'm not going to touch this further looks on the rare side of things realize it's perhaps too much reverence. I'm touching that like it's an old like uh, Gutenberg Bible or something, but it is cool. It is cool. I see some uh, game related stuff over there. All right, first of all, an absolute treasure, Saints Row Double Pack for Xbox 360, undoubtedly worth multiple dollars, perhaps five dollars. This is a, uh, wow, okay, there's a lot going on here. Is a Nintendo Wii. I don't know if you remember it, Nintendo Wii. Barack Obama had one. Queen Elizabeth II had one. There's a Mad Cat's memory card in there. Oh, ooh, we should look into this. A sealed VHS of E.T.? We're gonna look that up later. That, that seems like that might have value. I am intrigued. So I'm looking at the Wii games over there. Underneath that Radio Shack switcher, we have Just Dance 2, Transformers the Game, NHL Slapshot. I can deduce that that is from someone with bad taste, but that's okay because uh, we all we all leave our treasures behind and some of them aren't really treasures in the end and that's okay. Some blank VHS tapes. Uh, I just watched the Ring series recently, so I'm a little wary of blank VHS tapes. Anything could be on them. Okay, this is a Radio Shack. No, it's not a video splitter. I lied. Those are banana plugs for audio. This is an audio splitter of some kind, high power stereo speaker control system. Oh, that's a sound. That's a sound that I like. I have no use for this because I don't have any banana plugs, but I'm glad it exists. I think a Super 8 camera. What does this say? Kodak Brown, whoa, Kodak Brownie. Okay, a Kodak Brownie 8, that is, uh, that's cool, that's cool. I'm gonna put that in a pile of selects. Okay, a product that I always thought was very hoity-toity growing up that I thought was only for the richest of rich people that it turns out is actually quite affordable. A VHS rewinder. This is a separate device so that you can rewind your tapes while someone else is using the VCR. It also extends the life of your VCR. It's less wear and tear on the device. There are three of these. <laughs> this might be a sidewinder. Okay, so this plugs in through USB, which means it's newer than I expected. This is from Logitech. It is called, it's not the Microsoft Sidewinder. It is the Attack 3. This is for violent airplane games, little aeroplane combat. I always like to see flight sticks out and about, but this one is so combat specific. I feel less intrigued by it. Here's a find. This is the Jazz DV-151 digital recorder. 
jazzy for some reason. Maybe there's like fancy microphones in it. But what I love is that while a lot of these flip video era cameras had a, a USB port that would pop out, this one elegantly, sensuously slides. Watch this. That's, that's just not spring loaded, mind you. Slow, precise, intimate. Folks, a trinket that I've been talking about for 10 years now, a trinket I've been thinking about, dreaming about, is here in person, Sony Mavica floppy disk camera, and it is in my hands. Folks, you can slide a floppy disk in here, just save some JPEGs. My life, my life is complete. So we're gonna head down this kind of spooky looking hallway. So uh, let's see what's down here. Unisonic Tournament 2000 <laughs> electronic action TV game. I don't know what that is. It seems like it has informational or historic value. Uh, old lamps. A live action Pinocchio with Paul Rubens on VHS. <laughs> okay, I do not like that image. That is that is just an ominous image. Okay, so <laughs> a VHS copy of live action Pinocchio. I never want to see this again. Important shout out, James Earl Jones reads the Bible, which first of all sounds like a great product. That is the voice to hear the Bible in. It includes 12 audio cassettes. James Earl Jones, rest in peace, one of one of the great performers and voices uh, of our time. A still sealed pack of hockey card holders, which is interesting. So someone planned on collecting more hockey cards than they actually did, and then they either died or had to get rid of all their junk. Uh, this, this room's giving me the willies, so let's get out of here. So in this pile, we have Star Trek items, um, things that sort of sensual images of Spock and Kirk and things like that. This this is what would get some people in the mood, but if you wanna see what Star Trek content gets me in the mood, this is the Star Trek game by Interplay. Look at that, floppy disks, a lot of floppy disks. That, that is the erotica that I'm after. For IBM Tandy and 100% compatibles, 25th anniversary, and that's just magical. The game's all there and then one copy or one of the disks is pirated. Look at that. A space flight adventure by Interplay. Now that's a name, that's a real name. So if you wanna know how much I give for this YouTube channel, I would literally walk on broken glass to give you the retro gaming content that you crave. And these were some press kits from a bygone era when studios would mail out hard copies of production photos to local film journalists, all glossy and whatnot. Most of these were from films that time has forgotten to be generous, with the notable exception of Forrest Gump, but either way, I had to pass. And that is how our little treasure hunt went down. We saw some old VHS tapes, we saw some old vinyls, we saw a lot of strange, old, uncomfortable, et cetera, et cetera, boxes of things. A lot of very rare feeling old Disney VHS tapes, some from the first printing of Disney doing VHS at all, which I thought was quite exciting. And of course, I didn't come into this video with a moral agenda of any kind, but I hope that after watching this, you feel the way that I feel when I look through people's old garbage, which is that all of my treasures and trinkets and prized possessions, my copy of Quest 64, my GameCube F-Zero, my iMac G3, all the things that I care for deeply, you can't take it with you, folks. It <laughs> someday you'll be dead and all your treasures will be gone. And to that I say, play your retro games, enjoy them while, while you still can, which sounds like a threat. I promise it's not. And I'm saying that as someone who is in year 20, at least of trying to beat Final Fantasy IX, still working through it. And it's still on my shelf in pristine condition, mint condition. I need to beat that before I die because otherwise it's gonna end up in a place like this or on a shelf at Value Village or in a ditch somewhere. So that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, I'm Nathan and this has been what became a very somber, very morbid, very memento mori episode of Computer Lab Hijinks. I'm Nathan once again telling you to keep your files safe, keep your passwords managed, and for goodness sake don't click on any strange links, and all of those things feel weird to say after I've just told you you're gonna die someday, but hopefully this isn't the first video where you hear about that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a week.